And welcome back. This is ECNR2 with a tour of our uh, Minecraft server build with yeah. Max as my cameraman. Yeah, well, pretty will. much what it is is we created kind of like, well, Danny created and then I helped build some of the stuff. Kind of a fake company called ECNR Co. <clears throat> Co. obviously is standing for company. But so we're going to give a little tour about this section of this city that we have going on. Uh, it's an industrial company, and we're going to start with the Capitol building. And Danny will be the tour leader. So, like Max said, this is the Capitol building. Originally, it was supposed to be the Capitol building for the entire map, but then it just became the ECNR Co. headquarters. If you go into the main lobby, there's a nice map of the world. I don't, I'm not sure how updated it is, but it's mostly updated. You can see Michael's airport's right there, and then EC and Arco is with all the smoke coming up, and you can see some other spots. Alright, well, let's continue with the build. Alright. Danny made all of this, by the way. Um, to our right is office space. To our left is Max's office. He's the uh, vice president of this company. Um, this area is kind of a greeting area where people can hang out and whatnotness. And then here's our private library, um, a uh, board meeting room over here. I I guess that's what you'd call it. And then here's my office, and uh, there's also a basement. That has the treasury and Michael's office. And here's Michael's office right here. Nothing too special about it. Just kind of a tiny office with some carpet. It's hard to close doors in that form mode. And the the treasury room is actually pretty cool the way it works. So I'll have Danny show you because it's going to be hard to do this in that form. So there's right. a chiseled quartz block. By the way, this is full HD texture pack. But you break that. Right here, yeah. And you mm -hmm. click the lever, and it opens the door. So, and the pattern does go out through the floor, so it's not like it's too obvious. So, yeah, protected back here. Uh, and then it leads back. There's a secret recipe for EC Narco, and some vaults leading to. I uh, made mine a little vault, and the way you get into that is break this glue and pull the lever. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm in the F1 mode. And then here's the EC Narco private phone with some gold blocks. All right. Well, that's pretty much the Capitol building. I'll give a quick overview of the outside. And again, Danny did make all this, except I made my own office and storage room, but that's nothing compared to everything else, so I don't even count that. Um, so I'll show a quick overview, and then we'll get on to some of the other factories and such that we've made. Mm -hmm. And if you only are interested in some builds, you can always skip through the video. You don't have to sit through the whole thing, but I recommend it because these are some cool builds. All right, so here is just a quick overview of the whole capital building. I think it was pretty cool. All right, now we're going to get into the actual factors and cities. Here's an apartment building. It's I'm not really going to go on the inside. It's just a bunch of rooms and stuff, the same kind of thing, where yeah. all the workers live that work in this area. And we're going to start off to the left with my factory that I made. There's a crappily made car in the parking lot. I made that, but it's pretty bad. So here it is. It's supposed to kind of have a gloomy effect. Uh, and then here's the entry, a reception, waiting area, and where the workers check in. Check in. It's supposed to be during the industrial age. And then here's a factory design I, had, I came up with. It's a factory that makes gold ore into gold blocks, and there's, this is supposed to be an assembly line. The hopper spews out gold ore that is smashed into gold blocks, and then these cranes pick them up from the bin, move them into the chests, and yeah. And then into here we have the smokestack control room, which is where this lever doesn't do anything, it's just for show. But this is where the coal gets burned that gives off energy. And there's one more part to this factory is the upstairs with the offices. There's a factory manager office, the coal burning manager, and then my office, so nothing special. There's a little glass area where you can overview the workers making sure they're getting some work done. And that's my office. We'll move on to the next one. Danny did the majority of the work in the city, but I did do this factory all on my own, so I'll give a quick uh, overview of that. Oh, and this was also Danny's idea. I copied off of that, but there's a little spewage thing spewing pollution into the ocean. All right. Next, if we you're... should do the nuclear building, I think. What about you, Um. Uh. Well, yeah, but 
first quickly, people may have noticed this uh, convenient cemetery over here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So here is the town dump, or scum cemetery. It's obviously, as you can tell, EC Narco is kind of a harsh industrial company who does not really care about the workers and just, you know, there's where all the dead bodies go. Yeah. Of yeah. the workers that work in the factories. Referred to as the town dump. Yes. And then here is the nuclear building. Danny made the building and I made these nuclear reactors. They didn't turn out quite how I want, but uh, I think they look okay. So Danny will give us a little tour of this building. Are you already inside? Um, oh, okay. whoops. There. Alright. So this is kind of like a main lobby area. Nothing too special. Um, and then this is kind of like an area where reporters can ask questions and whatnot. -ness. This uh, area is kind of a small office space, and then the top floor is just like a lever room where they control reactors and stuff. This room is kind of like a generator room where the power is produced, if you will. And then there's a back door that leads to the silos, but... And then that's pretty much the whole of the main building. Alright, well let's move on to your first factory you built, the brick one. Here's another factory made by Danny. Um, this is my first factory. Remember the motto, you are replaceable. Um, I wasn't really going for a main uh, product for this factory, so it's more or less a producer of any goods that are in demand. This room's a storage room, and then that's my office for and this. A balcony you can look over. Yeah. yeah. And then here is his cake making factory. Yes. Um, this is the main area where you can order your cake. This is the main cake assembly line. And then you can go upstairs, and this is cake, like, Material storage and another office for and the way the... this contraption works is there oh I just pushed it down. But you put the ingredients of the cake in that chest and you send it down to the workers on the bottom floor and there's the recipe of for the cake right there. So it is a very efficient factory. Alright, let's get on to the next uh baked potato factory I do believe is the next one. Yep. Oh, it's right next door. So yes, this is the uh Baked potato factory. This is the area where you order the uh, baked potato, and then the potato assembly line, and uh, furnaces. And then we have a, a nice green room and where the potatoes, potatoes are grown. Yeah. Alright, so pretty cool factory. There's some coal for the burning. And then last but not least, actually, I think a pretty cool addition that we made is the ECNRCO Museum, and what it is is pretty much, it looks like a factory, but it's just, it's not functioning, it's just to serve as a museum. So, first we go up here, I'll just kind of do a quick over, I won't read any, everything, but here's the Emperor of ECNRCO, Daniel, and then the Vice President, me, and my hat and my glasses, and as you can see, my glasses and teeth are actually a hat, so that's why I can't see them in that. But, uh, yeah, I know it doesn't make sense in Aber and a Vice President, but it's just for fun, it's nothing serious. So we just have some information about them in this little museum area. And then to this side, we have more history, but we haven't added that yet. This side, we have more people. There's Michael, the factory manager, some information. Josh, the, uh, he's an opponent, I guess, or a rival of EC Narco. And Will, one of his, uh, workers that we had actually overtaken. Now this is all just made up, obviously, and we just kind of did it for fun, a little cool effect. So, here's some artwork from EC Narco, and some of the products that we use, and just all that kind of stuff. So, just a little cool museum showing the history and everything. I thought it was a pretty cool addition. Kind of cool to make up some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's pretty much our uh, EC Narco area. We also have some EC Narco buildings other places. We're supposed to be like a corrupt business taking over parts of cities at a time, but I think it turned out like a pretty cool factory area. And if you want more videos on it, any want us to get into any more detail on certain buildings, maybe even the history museum, go into the history of it, uh, you could just comment, let us know, and we'll be sure to do that. So, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Tell us what you think. Thanks.